Boom! Wasabi peas. Damn wasabi. Feature presentation. This week we're talking about from on speaking, MGM Plus. Speaking of a solid, respectable black character, let's uh, mm -hmm. talk about from. All right, I really need a drink. You gentlemen, start it up, okay? Start telling them about everything. All right, you can handle this. About what? What are we doing? You're gonna give them a brief overview. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Give them, a, give them a previously on last season, and then uh, kind of give them the basic. Spoiler free layout for season two. All right, I'll be right back. So, right, so instead of doing that, I'm just going to point out because Till does this every damn time we start up the review. He goes, All right, I'm going to get something to drink. You start it off. He does it every <laughs> single fucking time. <laughs> I'm still here. I know you're still here. <laughs> All right, Zipper, go. So, uh, so as we start this out, um, this is a move. This is a TV show that none of you have ever heard of. It's a fantastic show, uh, but I was talking to my brother about it today, and he was like, "No, I never saw. I, I don't even know what that is." And so I tried to explain it to him, and I ended up sounding like a crazy person. Um, yeah, it's hard to describe. It's one of those it's, things. It's like it's probably how like describing loss was when you know, but that was on like ABC and everybody knew what the hell it was. This one, that, this one, it's got the same problem like a, a show on Apple TV has. Apple TV has amazing shows, but nobody's ever heard of them because they don't market them at all. Yeah, so. it's it's that's the way I explain it to people. As I say, it's like the first four seasons lost before they lost their way. Um, and it has the same problem that Lost has, is that it's the mystery that makes the show interesting. But the problem is, is you can only keep the mystery going for so long. If you keep it going too long, then you get more questions than you do answers. And nobody knows what the hell's going on. Well, and they had no idea what the answers to those questions were. That was their big fucking problem. They create all they were very good at was creating mystery and uh, objects that were crazy, numbers that were everywhere, like all this symbolism, and they had they didn't have an answer for any of it. And I'm gonna bring that up in my our uh, what we're talking about. Like some of the similarities, the loss is really getting me nervous on this fucking show. But yeah, uh, if it goes if it goes more than five or six seasons, it's gonna turn into Lost. Is what's gonna happen. Yeah. So basically what this show is, is a, a sci-fi horror show where people end up in this place. They, they, they don't know how they got there. They all saw the same thing and they all end up in this weird town. And the, it seems like the rules of nature and everything else don't apply in this place. It might be purgatory. It might be hell. We, they don't know. It might be but, New Jersey. It I, could I be in, it could it be a government psyop scheme. We don't know. Here's the thing: if it was New Jersey, those those uh evil ghost people wouldn't be white. <laughs> There's a lot of things about this show I, I definitely really like. There are some things that are concerning so far, but remember when we were talking about um because we we've been talking about the episodes as we go along. Yeah. yeah. Um the I think it's the first episode. Where the rope comes down the the hole. Mm -hmm. I've and seen some he, theories on that. And then you see the guy he's chained to the wall. I think it's the, the it's the place fucking with him. Like it was that that demon basically trying to lure him out to get him, you know, infected or whatever, so he could take him back to town. That's what I think it is. I think it's the the thing that was laughing at him. I mm -hmm. think that guy was because I saw a, a whole thing. Somebody did like a, a breakdown of it where uh, when he goes up the 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 well and he sees the guy he's chained up somehow the the rope got down there and then when he goes to leave when the guy disappears there were two skeletons hooked up to the walls too mm -hmm. they disappeared too so it's it's very weird and it's like it's almost like the the thing that can make you see things like maybe those ghosts or those people they're always talking to maybe that's one guy just continuously fucking with them so this season well, like last season was all about establishing this world right you have the town You've got the monsters that come out at night. You get the talismans. 
you got the box, you got all the people. Yeah, the enemies last season were the people that come out at night. The people mm, that yeah. come out at night are now just kind of a nuisance. A new like almost like zombies in The Walking Dead. They're a nuisance now, but they aren't the main part of the story. So they've gone a little bit deeper. There's there's uh there's a little Freddy Krueger component to it now where where people are uh uh having what happens in their dreams yeah. affecting their real life uh you've got um the the potential for it being some type of experiment well you got a new monster uh, that's that's kind of the yeah, yeah. the it the it monster seems that's like controlling there's levels the it seems like there's going to be levels to this town like yeah. the the monsters that come out at night are like level 1 and then level 2 is shit that you bring back from the woods right yeah so if that is the case, like I'm hoping that like it'd be kind of nice if season three was the uh, the final season, just because I don't I don't want it to keep going because I don't want it to have the same problems as lost. The more questions you introduce, the harder it's going to be to wrap everything up at the end. So if you keep it like three, four seasons tops, I was about to say maybe four seasons. I think they can have a nice, neat package. Uh, just yeah. All, all answered, all nice and summed up, and you don't. It didn't go too long, and it wasn't too short. I, I, well, they, my the, like, they, I, I know we're not going to theories yet, but this is my general theory about the show. It's Dark City. You ever seen Dark City? Yeah, but that doesn't explain how they're the end. The end of the, basically the last scene in the last episode. Yeah, yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah. So. So basically, the sheriff Boyd, uh, played by Harold Perrineau, that guy right there, um, he gets he gets this this old guy to cut, like he this old guy cuts his arm and puts worms in him. It sounds stupid. It, it makes more sense when you're watching in the show. No, till, yeah. I tried to explain this to my brother, and I ended up sounding like an insane person. So because my brother was very simple, he looked at me and he goes. Well, what's the name of the town? I'm like, you don't know the name of the town. It's from. <laughs> it's town Fromville. <laughs> from Bergsteinville. From Bill, USA, Canada, Mexico. Yeah. Uh, but it appears this, so this, this demon basically infected him with these worms, right? And he figured out he could kill one of the, the night monsters with these worms. He didn't even know. He just like, fuck it. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm dead anyways. Yeah. So he cuts his hand and cuts one of the throats and, you know, gives the worms to the, the monster and it kills the monster. But then it, like, it unleashes the, the, the fucking music box, which is like, the music box is just like the, the symbol of the demon thing. And it, when you hear it playing, that's when the, the, the ballerina ghost is gonna come fuck with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it was it was weird because first you thought it was part of his curse that he was seeing this ballerina, he was hearing the music, but even people that had nothing to do with his like arm aids worms. But that was uh, after started he put seeing the it too. That was after he put the worms in the the monster though. So that makes me wonder, like, is that part of it? You're supposed to kill one of them with it, or did he? Was he supposed to give it to other people? And when he dis when he put it in the monster, it dispersed randomly to three other people. Well, they said uh, maybe the worms, like, you remember the one uh, when they, they're trying to do the autopsy, mm -hmm. they leave and they come back, it's got all those cicadas on it. Yeah. They're saying maybe the worms turned into cicadas, and that's that's why they were flying all over the place. Like, infecting everybody. Maybe. So, I it's, don't know, they don't very... really answer these. But then you had the girl that killed everybody that was saying that that was her brother's like greatest fear was cicadas. Because yeah, he was left like, out in the middle of nowhere. Show... So that's where the Freddy Krueger phase started was when yeah, the cicadas like, is, showed up. Is the, is the town feeding off their fears? Like that could be an interesting thing. Like where like it's their manifestation of these things that yeah. create the monsters. And it's like, well then like the, the original monsters are from someone back in the 50s i was about to say somebody else probably had some kind of weird uh terror of arm worms well know? it's like you know you got dungeons are pretty spooky ballerina you know 
monsters are spooky. So you might find out this is like this thing's like a from a like a a story that someone used to tell when the kids. Yeah. And we gotta remember the the from first season. There's there's a lot of dates on the walls. I think it goes back to like fifteen or sixteen hundred or something like that. Mm-hmm. So it, it also looks like there's like patterns where it just seems like these dates. This just starts a cycle or something. They don't know the exact time range, but it just seems like everything goes to shit around those time periods. Yeah. So, okay, this 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 episode's gonna be very spoiler heavy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna skip ahead to the end for a second. I want to talk about the ending. So the the very the one of the things that one of the plot threads in this show is the wife of the family that we enter the town with from season one. Um the Matthews, uh, the wife, Tabitha, starts having visions of this tower, right? And then she starts learning things like um, the retarded guy, Victor's mom, said she had to go save the kids in the tower right before, like right the night that everybody got killed when he was a kid. And so she's like trying to find this fucking tower and the ghost kid that's like kind of like the little helper in this place. The kid who hasn't been seen once in this entire season. Yeah, shows yeah, he up hasn't and been seen since last season. <laughs> shows up and shows her the way to the tower, and she climbs all the way to the tower, and the kid pushes her out of the window, and she wakes up in a hospital in, in our world. When that happened, I was pissed. I... I was like, if she wakes up in a fucking hospital, man, this is going to be, this is <laughs> starting to be like Lost, where it's just, you're going to have two different timelines oh. going. Are we going, yeah. are we going with flashbacks like Lost? As long yeah. as, as long as we don't start doing that, I'm kind of okay with it. Because it's like, you, you kind of do need to explore someone who gets out and then trying to find It where will be interesting are. with her trying to explain to everybody what it is. Like I was trying to explain the show to my brother and not sounding crazy. Yeah. I'm like, so, no, yeah. you don't understand. Look, when you see the tree trunk in the road, it's already too late. And my brother's just like looking at me like, what the hell is wrong with you? That's because he didn't talk about the crows, Semper. You got to tell him about the crows. <laughs> yeah, Semper, you got to tell him the crows. That makes it all make sense. <laughs> so what I'm wondering for next season, is Tabitha going to find Victor's mom? I uh, I don't know. It's weird because mm. the, the kid in white didn't lead her there. The... the the victor did he took her to the bottle tree mm-hmm. and that's supposed to be the special one that takes you to that uh uh that tower or that light uh lighthouse mm-hmm. and if you remember that was they they brought that up in season one that lighthouse they just showed it in the background they didn't nobody knows it was like one of those panning shots yeah and if you're up there from the angles you saw up there there's no fucking water so this is a lighthouse in the middle of the forest if you go back and watch, she's looking over. There's no water at all. Yeah, yeah. It's just a lighthouse in the middle of the woods. And I, I, and still, I, I still think Victor's in on it. I think Victor's a part of the group that is no, controlling you know, this whole thing. You know what would be the is. biggest? You know what would be the biggest like turn is if it was Boyd who was a part of it the whole time. No, I think I think you guys are forget. I, I was because like, I was trying to think about it. You were thinking somebody might be in on it. Might be an experiment. Um. I think the the kid in white is the one that's in on it. That's the one you're supposed to be. That's no, but it has thing. to be a part of the main cast. If the if the asshole guy was right, it's it's got to be a part of the main cast. And if I were gonna pick any, if I were to pick anyone who is in on it, it would be Victor because he's the one that has been there the whole time, and he was the one that was there to greet everybody as they came in, and he's the one that tells everybody where everything is, directs people where they're going. He shows up you know, in, in to kind of steer and turn things. Yeah, but who direction. tells him? It's the kid in white that tells him where all this shit is. Yeah, but I think he's the cast member that's in on it. Well, here, here's what I don't like, and it's what it's looking like. It looks like the kid in white, for, for all appearances uh, right now as it is, he's mm-hmm. supposed to be the good one, and he's fighting the darkness or whatever the thing that, like, released the cicadas and what in everybody's dream. So just like fucking Lost, there's a good and a bad, a light and a darkness. From the, it's like they keep doing the same shit. There's even a lighthouse in fucking Lost, the same fucking weird lighthouse. <laughs> it's like, I'm, it's a I'm bunch- hoping what it is, like, I would honestly be happy with them just going, oh, it's a, uh, it's an alien experiment. They abducted people and put them in, like, this, this fake environment. 
and Dude. they're just fu- they're trying to figure out people so they're fucking with their fears and like putting them in like these stressful social situations basically trying to figure out how people work like i'd be okay with well, that as like the, the solution well they did the autopsy of the thing that they killed with the worms right mm-hmm. and they open it up and it's just a dehydrated human body so i th- I think that next season we're going to get some kind of an explanation of what these people are. And I think they're people who were originally a part of the town and something happened to them. Yeah. That's they got sucked into some mystical vortex or something. And they're walking around as like the undead kind. That's a growing theory because all the people look like they're like, it it looks like the last date written on the the, wall. The last date on the thing is 1978. And that's when they think, that one was Victor's date when his mom disappeared. And that's why everybody's dressed like from the seventies and the fifties. Uh, that's, that's why they think that is that was the last event or cycle or whatever happened. And all those people died and are now those things. That's a, that's a theory too. So, so what I, I would be interested in hearing, cause this is one of the things that annoyed the hell out of me. I would be interested in hearing what the, per, what you guys think the purpose of the bile was. Because it did absolutely fucking nothing. When they said they were going to coat the bullets in it and shoot them and see if it killed them, I was like, I, in fact, I think I even said it on a previous episode of Burnt Popcorn, where it doesn't make any sense why the bile would kill them. Yeah. And then he the went worms. and shot them, and nothing fucking happened. They didn't make a mention of it. He didn't go, damn. No, they didn't, didn't, they didn't make a mention of it. Like Later when they're going to collect the, the asshole guy, the chick from uh, Colony House goes, so much for the silver bullets where's all the <laughs> fucking dead bodies like, they acknowledge that it didn't work yeah oh, okay. yeah i just don't understand the purpose of the, the whole bile thing it's, it's I think gotta it, have it something just, to do with it they might find a different use for the vial in the next season um but like it was like all right i mean we killed this thing let's use its juices or whatever to see if they'll kill other ones like, I didn't think that was even going to work. I was like, why would that work, though? The Why would that bile kill them? You don't need the bile. You need the fucking worms. Yeah. And so- and and what he should have done is taken... And again, we're getting into movie logic here, so... Uh, but if I were the, the, the physician person, I would have said, before we deal with your blood, I'm going to take some of your blood and put it in mm-hmm. vials. Yeah, And then we're going to keep that over here so we can study it later. Then they could have made silver bullets because the blood would have had the worms in it. Yeah, infect somebody on purpose and then get the uh, the infected blood and use that. Well, you don't know. Well, it's getting the semantics of where you don't know if the blood is like conscious or whatever. And it's not going to it's not going to leave the body in any way unless it's all all at once so it's it's kind of hard to th- it's it's a weird fucking subject that's hard to really think about because it's you know bullshit and yeah only the only way that they would really be able to know what they could do with it is if they started like infecting people on purpose and experimenting with it yeah <laughs> going all right how are we going to get this out of you you guys see those words when i you know draw your blood well they kind of did when the, everybody started getting attacked and their dreams started getting attacked yeah, but Are it's you like you to... already know how to stop it. You just go back there yeah. and you smash the fucking music box with a torch. Done. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me that that's not how blood worms work, Ken? <laughs> I don't know. I'm only an expert in narwhals. I know nothing about blood. <laughs> <laughs> the um, All right, this part bothered the shit out of me. I don't know if anybody else noticed it. Do you remember the first person that died from their dreams? Uh, yeah, the one that, like, exploded. Yes, I didn't know who it was. Like, I, I didn't know who the lady was. She appeared, in a, they, both of that that couple and that guy who was totally straight that, that shot Boyd and totally believable that was her husband. Um, they appear when, what's her name, uh, Sarah goes in and try to, she, she used to live in that house. Mm-hmm. And that's the only time they established that that couple's there. And then um, just so it's like, oh, see, they were they were here in this episode. Um, but they they are had they, no real purpose. Wait, hold on, are they a couple? Because that dude was really gay. That's what I said. Yeah, I think it's they're established that that. Um, I thought they were a married couple. Oh my god, my my wife. Oh. <laughs> like <laughs> that's my what? point. I was like, that was the worst casting I've ever seen. Unless they were brother and sister, but why would he? They be in bed. They could together. just even been friends. 
They could just been like See, people but, that met each other on the bus and like, yeah, we'll get a house together because there's only a limited number of houses. That's another good know. thing about this show is there aren't really any hateable characters except for one. There's one hateable character and everybody else is like, right? some of them I hate great the daughter characters, too. I keep hoping but she I don't dies. Hate the, no, mm -hmm. I hate the fiance that showed up in the bus. The oh, one that was like, Marie, oh, yeah, she was yeah. this awesome pediatric nurse that was triaging people coming off that bus mm -hmm. and she was helping people out and everything was great. And she's like, oh, there's my lady. And I'm like, oh, great. They're going to, they're going to inject gay shit into this. All yeah. Right, I was like, I was go. like, I mean, kind of, I've, I've always said, I'm okay with the gay shit as long as both, both chicks are hot, you know, that's, that's and just then my... two episodes later, <laughs> she turns into a flaming drug addict. Oh yeah. Like, like you you drug addicts don't operate in normal society like she was operating when she first got there not people that are that severely addicted to heroin or pills or whatever yeah, zero but signs from being this amazing pediatric doctor to just being a flaming junkie in a matter of two episodes <laughs> Yeah. And I hate her, and I All wish right. that she would. I wish the cicadas would have eaten her flesh. All right. Speaking of the, uh, we, we, I, I, we got to address this. All right, she's nineteen, so I can say this. Mm -hmm. The, did the daughter's boobs get like twice as big since season one? I don't know. I I, I try I to ignore. I, I hate remember. that character so fucking much. She's just saying. I was just like, why are they giving her a fucking low cut tight t shirt and every fucking thing she's in? I don't even know if she's supposed to be playing a nineteen year old. I was like, what the fuck? Like, she has the they're, lowest cut shirts and all the damn things. It's like kind of hard not to. Trying to attack half her body is boob. <laughs> they're trying to attract the teenagers. So what? To watch the show. Uh, boob I just, sell, I hate man. I hate that, and I hated that they did it with that chick on um. I, I stopped watching Modern Family because of that shit. I was just like, somebody put a fucking sweater on this. Yeah, girl. it, it feels like, weird, especially <laughs> when like they're supposed to be like underage. It's like, yeah. can you stop? Can you just put it, put no more clothes on a person, please? I get it. You can't control when she develops, but you can put a fucking sweatshirt on her. Look at this crew. <laughs> Half of them are wearing jackets. I'm like, what the fuck? But I don't know. I just sorry I brought that up. I was like, yeah, I mean, I honestly, I didn't even notice. Like I, like I said, I fucking hate that character. So every time she's on screen, my eyes kind of start rolling back in my head, and I just kind of black out until she's no longer on screen. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's annoying, but she's supposed to be annoying. Yeah, no, she's supposed to be a teenage girl. They're all annoying. But Jesus Christ, could you just like tone it down for the fucking does, show? Does her dad remind you of the dude that plays Ant Man? Um, what's his name? Paul Rudd. Yes, it drives me nuts. It kind of like if Paul Rudd like and Ed Paul Norton Rudd did is the in the fusion show, dance. and it makes me want to hate it. Yeah, they look like he looks like Paul Rudd and uh, you know, fucking uh, Edward Norton from from Hulk. <laughs> and Hulk did like the fusion fucking dance and yeah, the same person. A transporter accident. Yeah. It, mm. I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of Paul Rudd anymore, but I like the guy who plays the dad. I think he does a great job in the show. Like the the foreign mom though, like her her accent can get kind of grating after a while. I like the asshole guy. I like him. I know, I know. We all know. I don't like normally the guy. I don't normally like the asshole guys, but I like this asshole guy. There's something about him I like him. And now he's one of the big three because he was mm -hmm. one of the ones chained to the wall. So he's gonna be there for a while. Maybe. Yeah, they keep saying he's a reoccurring character, so. I don't know. I, yeah, because I, I like think the, the last time the we bus. talked about it, Ken said he died, and I was like, <laughs> no, he didn't die. I do like the addition of the bus, because mm. that was a great way to get a bunch of new people onto the show all at once. And that's that's mm. never really, I mean, as far as they, they've said in the show, that's never really happened before, where uh, you had an entire bus of people just randomly show up like yeah. that. And That's if the good. junkie would, if the junkie wouldn't have been on the bus, I'd have been fine with it. Yeah, but the whole thing with the bus is not necessarily good writing. It's fucking. Uh, we need everybody there is already enough smart enough not to get killed on mass by these fucking things. We need a whole group of people to get murdered by the. Hey, the that wall. was that the was wall. actually pretty awesome. The people who are like, this is ridiculous. I'm not I'm not going into this house. Oh look, there's people out there. I'm gonna go talk to these people. No, it was, and it was a bloodbath. That was awesome. It yeah. was cool. I'm just saying the whole purpose was to do that. 
Oh, that was like. You know, I just remembered the really fucked up one where they they took a girl and they pinned her. Oh, to with a the tr- steel bar to her head. Yeah, and it's like there's no way to save this bitch. You pull the steel bar out, she's dead. Yeah, there was a there's a lot of slow moments in this one, but they didn't. They they had a purpose, uh, so I did like that. Like, there's a lot of character uh, development in this season, but yeah, well, it, it it had moments where like this is pretty fucking gnarly. There's a steel bar through this chick's head. Well, yeah. and the cool thing about the steel bar chick is that they establish that these creatures are essentially toying with them and having fun with them. Yeah. Yeah. Because they dragged her out. They they dragged her out into the woods, specifically put that piece of rebar through her head just so she would still be alive and everybody else could see it. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's really fucked up. It's, I like the, the dark because it's like it plays into like the s- most sadistic sides of like human nature like that's what makes these things so scary is they look like people and they act like people if they had no like in- inhibitions or like respect for any kind of life this is a television show called uh from chris yes on, it's on, uh... it's on- Epics or MJM? It's the it's the it, it was on Stars and then Stars decided they wanted to raise their price, but they didn't want to raise their price. So what they did is they split their programming between Stars and MGM, and now they bundle it for like three dollars more. Bundle. But yeah, it's the greatest show you've never heard of. <laughs> and, and they talk about that, like the the guy that was toying with Boyd. Like they even said, it's just like the hope. Giving you hope is what I love taking away from you. Or like, uh, uh, no, no, go, they're like, go ahead and do it. That'll give him hope. And when they lose it, 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 it tastes even better. It's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, well, yeah, that, um, that's what they were saying is that they, they think the town may feed off of that hope. Hmm. And then I, I think it. that's the, the demon lying to him. Try, yeah, I trying think to so manipulate too. him. So can we talk about this music box? I mean, it's a, it's a, it's kind of a basic bitch horror element, but so is the puppet, and I think they they make it work pretty well. Well, yeah. the guy, the guy strapped to the wall, said that when the music stops, they will come, right? And so one of the last things Gross, in the season was him destroying <laughs> the uh, the music box, and then her getting out. Those were the last two scenes of the movie. So well, that, what do you think is going to come now? Because something's coming now that the music is stopped. Again, it's, it's me. Close. It's me. That's what's going to happen. It, yeah, oh, shit. <laughs> Dodge your head. Duck. Don't look at me. <laughs> um, <laughs> No, that could just be the, if it was the, the entity keeping them there, or the, evil, what, the head evil, whatever you want to call it, it could be just them lying to them. And that's why he didn't want to, because he kind of, when the music stops is when they, they, um, they get better. So it's it could be them lying. It could be setting but something up. They I, don't know. I That's... think what I think what they were saying though is like what, like basically there's like a sacrifice that happen, has to happen for like the next stage to begin. Because mm-hmm. she's like, no, it's better for them to to die now, and then to wait for what's coming. And it's like, so you're essentially a harbinger demon, <laughs> more or less. <laughs> like you're there to basically be like, all right, I'm gonna unlock the fucking gates. And so, like next season, like I would, I would expect something worse to be showing up. Yeah, or that was just him fucking with Boyd. <laughs> like that's still the demon or whatever. Maybe. Again, I don't know what to name this damn thing. So um, when the girl that slit her brother's throat, when she loaded the revolver, did you notice the same thing I noticed? And when she picked the gun up, there were no bullets in the revolver. Uh, yeah, I, I noticed that because I had guns, man. Oh, dude, the, <laughs> if you're gonna bring up guns. I did love when the uh, okay, so the guy who had whose roommate or wife or whatever um, exploded into cicadas, like he went and like killed the guy that like was putting away the guns at, at the colony house and stole. Yeah, a gun. yeah. And he went yeah. to go shoot Boyd, the he, clearly uh, straight guy. Yeah, and he shoots Boyd in the yeah, shoulder. Yeah, the absolutely straight guy. And Boyd does that move where he's like ah, and he like he's like he's like on the ground like, <laughs> and he like he's covering his shoulder or whatever and he shoots from under him and kills the guy <laughs> you're like damn that was a good move <laughs> I, like, I like how he was like not even like scared he was annoyed 
He's like, damn it! <laughs> yeah, he's just like, motherfucker, son of a bitch. And that's like, I feel like that's what his character would have done. He just got really upset, like, you stupid son of a bitch. Yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't in fear of his life at all. Like, he was just, just like, man, this fucking idiot. Now I gotta kill you. Yeah, and like now I've got like fucking pellets in my shoulder while I'm trying to go kill this fucking demon music box. You <laughs> asshole. I didn't need what this today. <laughs> right. But I don't yeah, know. You, ahead, the, the moral of this, Chris, is that, yes, you will like it. So be curious. Yeah. It is a good, solid two seasons. All it right. is. The one thing I... You, yeah, it really is. It really you can is. get the first season free on Prime if you have Prime. And then you know, I'd say second season, you probably wait a couple months, it'll be on Prime. Or you could, you know, sail the high seas, however you want to do it. Yeah. You know, the only thing I, I, I don't know, it's kind of, I don't know if I'm just overthinking of it. The, was anybody else kind of disappointed with the reveal of the, the symbol, what it meant? Wait, the reveal of what the symbol meant? The, that, 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 that image that, that he kept seeing, he finally found out what it was. I don't remember. It was down in, it's down in the was. cave. But like, it's what? down in the cave. It's all the little, the little, like, looks like they're sacrificial kids looking up. And it was the opening in the uh, in the ground. It was just roots making that weird symbol. Oh, oh, well, maybe that wasn't what it. What oh, it I represents thought it was just as his much dream. As I thought he was dreaming it. Oh yeah, we gotta talk about that part. Of it. So Jade, who is a science, is a he's a programmer and genius. Yeah, he's like an internet startup guy. But he's yeah. like he's a genius level dude, right? Who uh, who does a lot of drugs, and he's trying <laughs> to figure this shit out, and he finds out from. Uh, Tabitha, the Matthews wife, um, that the symbol is down in the caves. So he finally g gets the courage up to go down in the fucking caves and he has this vision of kids on like these weird altars all circling around mm -hmm. him and then the yeah. hole up in the thing and it's like, what the fuck is this place? Is this place some sort of like did a witch or something open up a hell a hell mouth? Because like Dude, if, I, that, if that's it, I mean, all right, but it's like, what the fuck is all of no, this? I think I it's the kids they're God, supposed to save. I swear to God, if we have a Salem scene and this has something to do with Salem, I'm gonna I'm fucking out. What if what I'm if out. it's uh what if it's Roanoke? Lost, yeah, it could be Roanoke. Lost colony if it's, Roanoke. If it's 1800s witch fucking burn her shit, I'm out. It, it I I can't do it. I can't. Well, it looks like some kind of sacrificial thing. I don't know what it, what yeah where it's from or when, but the the thing that I heard, a theory another theory I heard put out there is like the that little whatever the hell they did there is what the fucking whole town runs on. Like that's how they get electricity from wires that don't go anywhere. It's it's run on whatever the kid that souls? ceremony it, was. The, kid souls. The, <laughs> new from Black Hills Energy ran on kid souls. <laughs> Your lights will always turn on, and yeah. you will see ghosts. You will always say little decrepit kids following you around for eternity. Coal is not green enough for the environment. You know what's green? Children's souls. <laughs> we only need like seven of them. But yeah, I, th I think I think that the fact that all of the monsters are like 1950s milkmen and nurses and stuff like I think that's going to play a part in the origin of this town when they finally get to it. Maybe. Like I, yeah. I'm. It's definitely got me curious. It's good enough to keep your curiosity peak. Shit happens crazy enough to where you're like, fuck. Like it. Like there's a mm. lot of really good set pieces in this show. Like the mm. colony house massacre in the first season was fucking amazing. I was so happy when they killed that dumb Asian bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I hated her so fucking much. <laughs> she was so. She's like stealing people's clothes and shit. And then I'm just like, God, please let. What one of those monsters just like disembowel her? Just get no, out of this they, fucking well, show. They they started this show off in a genius way. The very first scene of this show was that little girl at the window, and that old mm. grandma was like, "Let me in." And it, it, that I was an amazing Hal. way to start this show. I showed it to Hal, and she wouldn't watch anymore after that. She's like, "I can't, I can't watch this show." I'm like, "Come on, it's a good show. You gotta watch it with me." Nope, nope. She don't like scary apparently. Like it's not even really scary as it is is just like horrifying sometimes, you know. I think you need to look up what synonyms are, buddy. Well, no, I mean like scary <laughs> means like ah, like horrifying is like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> I think I'd rather I, be I believe, scared I than horrified. I believe horrified. they call that suspense. No, I'm talking about like what, like when you get to like the, the 
the set pieces where like when they get trapped in the house and then like you find like the next morning they just there's the guy's skin just laying outside in the <laughs> lawn. You're like, holy shit. Like they're very brief about it too. Like they're yeah. good at building the suspense and like the nighttime scenes and stuff like that. I like the scene where the asshole he doesn't believe any of this shit. So the lady from Colony House, um, Donna puts him in the bus where a, oh, couple, yeah. a couple like got slaughtered the night before an old like yep and she's like you couple. can stand there and watch and he's just oh, like just... he starts getting like oh what bitch what like yelling at him and they just turn around <laughs> and walk away i thought that was curious yeah they were all staring at him at first and then yeah they just started walking away for some reason they're doing a lot of unusual shit in the I'm last couple of i'm wondering episodes. i'm wondering tell me if you guys if you guys are getting some of the same feelings here but I'm wondering if those things literally feed on your fear. So like if if when they're coming, like they're stalking you, they're making you all scared and shit, and then they terrify you by torturing you. Right? They literally terrify I, you to death or whatever, you know? I would say yes, it's not a bad theory, except the the whole reason why they get into the colony house is because the dude opens up the door and they start making out and she bit his tongue off. Yeah, but she like also he, she also if you notice she didn't do to him what they did to everybody else, she just killed them. She didn't disembowel them and torture them and shit. True. I think that was just like that was an entry way. And she never changed her face. Yeah. So like, I I think that that could have been just like they they feed on the fear, and that was an instance where like I'm gonna feed on his loneliness to get in there and then we're going to fuck everyone up and it's going to be beautiful. They're all going to be <laughs> fucking terrified. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be one of those that, um, you definitely got to go see what's going to happen. We're going to see where they're going to take the story. It's going to, the next couple of seasons could make or break this show. I yeah, well, wouldn't I'm, mind. I wouldn't mind a season. And you'll probably you'll probably hate this, Ken, but I wouldn't mind a season I hate of it. it going back before they had the talismans. I wouldn't mind. Mean, they've done flashbacks they, to that. Not a I whole would, season, but I wouldn't mind like a whole brief time period, like an they, episode or two. They've done a couple that. of flashbacks to that. Um yeah. very brief ones. But yeah, it would be kind of cool. But to I, see. I wouldn't mind seeing a cat and mouse with the monsters. Hmm. Uh, At least an episode, a couple, like a, maybe a few episodes of back in the 70s when it started with them playing cat and mouse. We need to find out what happened to everybody in the cars. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean. And we need to find yeah, out who that guy was that the, that was uh, running the, the ship back in the day when uh, when Victor was little. We need to find all that out. What happened with Yeah, I'm sure we'll learn more about that stuff in the coming season. Like, dude, yeah, like. I how do you forget you have a sister though? That kind of bugged me a little bit, but I'm like, maybe he's he's retarded. Because I'm telling he's you, he's in on it. No, he's in on it. He's he grief stricken. His little kid doesn't want to talk about it. Like I, no, I get he's, it. He's, he's his mom and sister died on the same day. He's the only one that's alive because when he was younger, he agreed to deliver them souls, and he's in on it. I don't know. We're gonna have to find out. Yeah. Uh, I. I'm liking it. I'm still in. I'm glad I got it renewed for a third season. It's just like I'm seeing a lot of parallels to Lost, and I, I don't fucking like it. So you guys want to give uh, give this season a rating before we get out of here? Go ahead, Semper. You're in the middle. Honestly, I would give it higher than an eight. I'm going to give it an eight. It would be higher if we, that drug addict God didn't God show up. God damn it. <laughs> we have our own system here, Semper. Oh, sorry. Uh, four. There you go. Okay, there you go. No, no, God. <laughs> I would also give I it like a four. I would give it a five if it weren't for the drug addict chick. I hate oh, the yeah. drug addict. I chick. fucking hate her too. I hope she dies horribly in the next season. Mainly because mm -hmm. I want, I want the uh, dude. Okay. The she chick, was one the of the ones. That was the... She was one of the ones on the wall. She's not going anywhere. The chick that plays the nurse. Like she looked fine in the last season. Like yes, like she, she ruined was, that character. She was cute enough to be like, yeah, I want the the Asian guy to be with her and stuff like that. Like you know, like you're like, all right, she's not horrifically ugly. They gave her a haircut in like the second episode of the season <laughs> that made her from being like 
eh, whatever. To, yeah, oh my God. Yep, Why yeah. did you now do she, that? Now she looks like she has Lego hair. It's terrible. <laughs> yeah, you, it's, yeah. I never, you never think about how much a haircut can make or break like someone, you know? She's got sassy bangs because she's a lesbian now. I can't believe she agreed to that for her. That's her look now. I mean, off the show. Dude, actors are stupid. I feel like it was probably her idea. What if I make her look more like a butch? <laughs> like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Never let, an actor, never let actors choose their own right. shit. Let's no. find a way to make the entire medical staff look, <laughs> it, it make them the most hateable characters on the show. And I wouldn't even call her, like, in the last season, I wouldn't call her hot or anything. She was just, she was okay. She was like, she did, when you looked at it, you didn't go, oh my God, what is this Breaking Bad with all the ugliest actors I've ever seen? <laughs> like, but dude, when she cut her hair, it just, oh, it just, it was like taking a five and making it a one. You know what I mean? <laughs> I still would. It didn't ruin it for me. Ah, uh, fuck it. I already didn't really care for She's a little bony for my taste. Hey, but, what happened to his Parkinson's? Remember when his hand was shaking like crazy? The and worms, now it worms, the worms are Parkinson's. Parkinson's. Did the worms cure his Parkinson's? The worms oh, killed his left. Parkinson's. So they're going to, the they're worms. actually going to mine all this worm technology and <laughs> uh, uh, sell it to Big Pharma when they get out of yeah. here. They're going to call it, they're going to call it the Spice Moulin. <laughs> right? It was like, it was like at the beginning of the show, he was on Rumble. And then in the middle of the show, he was on Locals. And looked like he had Parkinson's, and then now he's back on Rumble again. Yeah, uh, I'm also gonna give it a four, uh, but I have I have some serious fucking hangups with how close this is to Lost. We'll give it a four with an asterisk for you. Nice. I was gonna even say that too. <laughs> Damn it! Get out of my head, you prick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope Wait, you enjoyed the what show. What about yours? Sir, I already said, said four. four. Yeah, we all were fours across the board. There's fours all across right, the board. Fours across the board. God, yeah. Even with your damn headphones, you can't. Not hear not shit. perfect. We're always room for improvement, but yeah, pretty damn good. And I like, think it's it, got. I think it's got two solid seasons left, and then it's gonna go a little around. I would even give season five like a four point five. So it's a little dip in quality, very minor. Like most of my problems with it are kind of nitpicky. Um. But next season is definitely going to tell us whether or not the show is going to have any kind of staying powers as far as like their ability to actually give us. Yeah, a good they show. need to answer. They do need to answer some questions next season. If they don't answer any questions next season, like they haven't really in the last two, if they don't answer some questions next season, it's going to be a problem. I don't even need lost like point oh. I don't even need like full things spelled out for me either. I just need like like I almost felt like this this addition of the new monster is kind of like a partial answer. You know, it's like, it doesn't answer the full question of what is this place, but you go, okay, there is something going on here. There's different layers to this. So it, it reveals a little more, but it doesn't quite give you the whole picture yet. I'm yeah. interested. I'm interested in her getting out. I'm interested to see how she's going to try to get back in. Mm. But I'm also interested to see if, she actually got out like if yeah that it might be a trick some or other level like maybe like it'll be interesting to see her in a real world but she'll notice that things are just off. they said they found her on the side of a of a hiking trail yeah so she's definitely going to go back to that hiking trail where they yeah. found her and i'm pretty but sure the it'll time... be interesting watching her trying to get back in this is how you know this is a good show like i already want season three to be here so i can yeah I can right see what the fuck is going on <laughs> It felt season two took so long to come out last time. It time. did. It yeah, did. it did. Took it, it, it took so long that I actually forgot about the show. Yeah, so I, I, I went like, back and hey, watched. you seen From? I was like, no, I don't think I've seen it because I couldn't remember anything. And then I watched the first scene, the one that I liked so much. Mm. And then I was like, oh, I remember this. And then it all came back to me. But it was gone for so long that I had no memory of watching that show. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think it was a... Uh... It's a good show. I, I recommend it highly to people. I would say, you know, we're still in the middle of the show, so you, you never know what's gonna fucking happen with uh with the, it could derail next season. But as of right now, season one and two are pretty fucking good, and I say go watch them. Free uh, first no, one's free on Prime. Of, of all the shows that we talk about and all the shows that we've watched and mm. and done on this thing. This is by far the best show. I, yeah. it, this is by far the best show out there right now. 